Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Mindy from Mindy's Crafts and Cash. Today I went through this bin of never-ending pages that I pulled for the last few years and actually I got rid of a bunch that I didn't think were really relative to any of the glue books that I'm currently working on but I did pull out a pile of papers that are uh, what's left in that bin I haven't gone through yet so let's get going um, actually I'm gonna do a couple over here a little bit of gluing this is my black and white glue book that I started and I'm gonna do black and white and a pop of color so I pulled this girl out she kind of reminds me of me because I had a lot of freckles. <laughs> so I had to take her out and I will put her on this page. And I only glued the bottom of that so I could stick something under here. So we will just trim it a little bit and then glue that in. And, okay, I don't know why she looks angry, but that's okay. So this is in the black and white glue book with a pop of color. And then I took out this picture yesterday. This was an iconic show with um, All in the Family. Oh my God, that was so popular. I just have to trim it down a little bit. And this was kind of perfect for the black and white glue book, don't you think? Okay. That will have its own page and I could always add stuff onto it. Maybe I will and maybe I won't. Get these done. Okay. Well, it looks straight over here and it looks crooked over here, so evidently I didn't cut it out that straight. Oh well. Life goes on. Okay, move that away. And let's see, this is gonna go in the blue page of the new color glue book. Pretty, pretty. I wasn't going to start this book right away, but I'm really enjoying it. So here we go. Okay, and let's see. I just found this number when I was cleaning my desk a little bit. Let's just put this on the red page, which is the first page. Sometimes I have trouble telling the difference between red and orange. I don't know if it's because I'm developing cataracts or what, but I don't know. And sometimes if I can't really tell, I just don't use it. Let's get rid of that little black spot there. Okay, we'll put it right up here. Okay, so what I had left, some of them I put in the bins. Uh, so I would do like a whole video of working in the animal pages or whatever. Now, the Geico Gecko, which I love, um, I'm going to put him in the green page. And I'm going to cut him out with the circle. And... 
I don't have Geico insurance, but I love the gecko. So how are you today? I have a quiet day planned. I want to finish that diamond painting. Groovy girl, I just, you know, you kind of give it a last look to see if you missed any uh, diamonds. And then I put um, watered down Mod Podge. I could cut out these words too. I could either put them on the blue page or I could put them in the ABC book. I'm not gonna totally fussy cut him now, that'll take too long with his little hands. But I will cut out some other words. Always need those A words for all those A pages. I haven't been going in the gym since my knee has been bothering me so much, but I'm gonna try it again today. Maybe it'll, it will help. It certainly feels good when I'm in the water. If I could be a mermaid and live in the water all the time, nothing would ever hurt. That's a good word for the C page, the H page or the blue page. And this will definitely go in the a page. Okay. And right now, I'm going to put him on the green page because I love to see it when it goes on. Look at this pretty color yellow. I'll put it right on the page facing yellow. That'll look really nice. Okay. <laughs> and look at her smirking. Let's see if you can see her expression. Oops. So, unfortunately, I can't live in the water. I have to live on land. So I have to take care of what's bothering me. Okay, that's cute. And then the other one, Maybe we'll put somewhere here or we'll put on the next page. We'll see. But I will fussy cut that a little later. Okay. Let's look at the next page. Now, I thought I would take him out uh, to see if I could fit him on the children's page in my scavenger book. Because I had so many cute children's pictures, I decided to start a children's page. Let's get him out. Blue, I don't want to cut off his plane there. Okay. And let us find him in the scavenger book. Or his page. It's all the way in the back. Children. Get him in. Well, that might be good. We don't need all her hair. Okay. Come join me and live in my book. This is really working up nicely, these two pages. Okay. Okay, let me see. Oh, here's an owl for the uh, animal glue book.
And then somewhere in this pile, I have another owl. Evidently, when they brought the big Christmas tree down to the city, every year they uh, bring a Christmas tree down from upstate New York to, or upstate somewhere uh, to Rockefeller Plaza. They found an owl was in the tree. <laughs> I have a picture of that somewhere here. Okay, now I thought this was so pretty for one of the blue pages. And this is Mount Hood. Not sure where that is. If you know, put it in the comments. We could ask Alexa. Okay. Let's find one of the blue pages like on this color book I don't want to wait when I get a page for it or a picture for it I want to put it in very pretty very pretty and maybe I'll put a word here yeah we could put that right there these pages are a little smaller than I'm used to working in but I couldn't not take them because I really wanted all the colored pages. Why is that crooked? That's not crooked. Probably that's crooked. Okay. We'll find something else to stick right there. And this page is getting started. Okay, I'm not taking anything else from here. Let me see. Oh, here's a little doggy. So that's for the animal glue book. Uh, we'll start it by cutting here. And when I work on a page with the dog, I'll figure out how I want to handle it. We'll just get him out. And we're getting lots of animals. Yesterday I got a good elephant picture. And we could take the escape word. And I will sort of fussy cut around the P and get rid of that other word. Okay, now on this one, I just kind of like the guy's face, so I'm going to cut him out for the inchy glue book. And I'm going to use my one-inch round punch. But that's so convenient. Now I always know where my glue stick is, and I'm not looking for it all over the desk. There we go. Okay, that came out good, nice little face. And um, let's just stick it right in. Face is four, is right over here. This inchy glue book has been a lot of fun also. Oh, actually, look, I have a blue page. Oh. Let's cut out some sky from here because I'll be cutting out the horse soon. This doesn't cut that well if it's not thick. Somebody said I should put a piece of cardstock behind it. I'm going to try that next Next one I cut, and that gives it a little more body. Okay, got that in. Now look at this gorgeous horse, my horse page. Okay, we'll see if we want to fussy cut him. We'll leave him as a rectangle or 
what we want to do with him when I get back to that book. But in the meantime, we have a pretty picture. Okay, next, let me see. Okay, I thought this was beautiful also for the animal page. Because I said my animal pages are gonna be any living thing except for people and those wiggly things that go on the ground that creep me out. Those will never live in my book. Never. And I have a friend who really enjoys wildlife and sometimes she posts pictures of them and on Facebook and oh, right away I go right through it. I thought this would be pretty for the blue page. So pretty, so pretty. And we'll put that on right away. Glue, glue, glue. When I was asking people's opinions on what they would like to see on my channel, somebody said they'd like to see me coloring, doing a coloring page. So I will try that out one day. I have some really nice coloring books, uh, actually all different kinds, but one of the ones I have, or a few of them, is from a company called Color It. And the, it's beautiful quality. I really have enjoyed doing a lot of coloring in their books. So, I'm going to just start this one right up here. Pretty, pretty. Okay, next page. Here is that owl I was telling you about. This page was all folded, but I'm still going to work with it. A great picture. This poor little owl, could you imagine? He's in a tree and all of a sudden they cut down the tree and he gets <laughs> transported a few hundred miles. It's like, well, where am I going? And then he ends up in a city, New York City. So look, they have him all wrapped up here. It's gonna have to go in my animal glue book. Oh, and then look at this cute picture. I already had it cut and I want to put it on that children's page if I have room, let's see. This was cute. And evidently these kids are okay with clowns because some people are just not. Right here, it's a fit. We only have room for one more picture and then the children's pages are pretty much done except for a couple, well, a couple of little, little things, we'll see. Okay, that's good. And I wanted to cut her face. I thought that would be a good one for the inchy. Let's grab that. Okay, this time I'm gonna put a piece of paper behind her. Let's see, first of all, if I'm in the right spot. I need to go a little bit lower. I have to cut off her head hair a little bit. Okay, now let's just here, grab something. And now let's try it. See if this recommendation worked. And it did, this one came out perfect. Thank you for the recommendation. Okay, faces four. Making progress. Uh, 
That's Goldie Horn. I think we need her too. Let's try that again. Perfect. Okay. Throw this out. Put Goldie in. Oh, when I look back, I'll never know that it's Goldie, but we know now. Okay. That was good. Now this I thought would be pretty for that pink and blue glue book. We can cut out the whole frame. Pretty picture. Okay, let's get that. By Milton Avery. Never heard of Milton Avery, have you? Okay, that goes in the pink and purple. If I said pink and blue, it was a mistake. Pink and purple. Okay, now I um, pulled her out for her eyes because in my glue book that is Uh, oh my God, I can't focus and think at the same time. Scavenger book. Thank you, it came to me. Um, I, the very front, I have eyes. So let's get her in there. What's up with those eyes? Let's put them right here. Nice, okay. I think I have one more eye picture, let's see. I'll grab that right away. I don't know. Oh well, it'll, it'll come back. Okay, this one, this is so cute. There's a guy with his dog and right above is a photo of their dogs. So that's a cute one to take out for the animal page, the animal glue book. That's all I wanted from there. So come to mommy. Very good for the animal. Getting lots of stuff. I think tomorrow we'll do the animal glue book. Okay, here's another cute one with an animal. that out in the animal bin and could cut out these words Let's see if we want to put them in the a b c glue book okay done just a couple more now this is about virgin voyages the new um line, the cruise ship line, um, but this is from 2020, so that's already been out and sailing, and my friend was on it and really enjoyed it. It's an adult-only cruise line, so, but I don't think it's for old people, and they have made many upgrades. For example, they don't have like a main dining room. Every night you eat in like a specialty dining room. So that would be good for the red page. So let's do it. I frequently have trouble finding things that are red. So I was a little excited when I saw it. Okay, that's a good way to start. This 
book's going to be a ton of fun. Ton, ton, ton. Now my other one, I put washi tape along the edge. I may do that with this one. We'll see. Maybe even random. So, because that looked really cool. Okay. Got that going. And just a couple more. Oh, I'm going to pass on that one for now. And, and then we will call it a day. I'm going to try to get back to doing my videos in the morning. I had some appointments and I couldn't do it. I guess the doctor appointment is a little more important than doing a glue book video. Or a... YouTube video. So, this is great. Look at all of these giraffes. Okay, that goes in the animal glue book. And, okay, here was one more for a green page. Let's get him out. how they have them stepping out of the circle. <laughs> Pretty cool. And let's just see if we want to glue him in right away or how we want to do it. And he's going to start another page. I like using the spiral. Just bend it back and that page is right in front of you. Okay, hello and welcome to my book. Let's just cut this horse and call it a day. I don't even know if I'll have room on that one horse page, but if not, we'll make another. Let's cut it down a little. And here we go, another pretty horse. Of course, is a horse, of course, of course. Okay, well, I didn't get through the whole pile, but I got through some of it. And, oh, here was that other eye one I was telling you about. This is just a picture, and it's sort of really creepy. I would hate to have that in my house, but I am going to put it on that eye page. I will do that off camera. Thank you so much for watching me. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. And if every subscriber, because I have 500 and 44 now, asked one more person to subscribe to me, then I would reach the magic thousand. So think about that. Do you have a friend who watches YouTube, a parent who watches YouTube, a child who watches YouTube? Just say, oh, why don't you watch Mindy's Crafts and Cash? And then I'll hit the thousand mark like that. Thank you so much. Have a great day.